action. It's always kind of terrifying when you're like dangling and you feel like there's a shark is in the pool or like you feel, I, oh, everyone's had that feeling of like, what's in the pool? Like, well, what if there was actually some sort of supernatural thing in the pool? Um, and I love the what if of that. And so I, I, I've loved also playing with that, like in the pool and trying to make the pool scary. Like it's just, it's a fun thing to, to do. <laughs> So okay. after you scare her and you pull her up and she's freaking out and that whole thing, yeah, um, it's in that moment. It's like I was reading this one. I was like, ah, there's something. There's a moment here to kind of play. If you start above it, you, the, when you tilt down, the camera goes completely under the water, right? I feel like everyone has this as a kid, but they feel like something when you're in the ocean or you're in a pool. You kind of like make yourself believe something's under you, and I feel like I've never seen that in film. The pool is like hungry for something. Um, you, it gives us something in return, it wants something back. The pool has a life of its own. The pool has like a motive of its own. I see you, you're right there. And action. When I first saw the short, I thought this was such a brilliant concept. Um, we've had many kind of haunted, haunting movies uh, over the years, but we've never really had a haunted swimming pool movie. And uh, and I just love that idea. Uh, we, we, we all have this inherent fear of, um, of just swimming in general, being in the water, because we're not made technically to be in the water. So you gotta clearly see what yeah, she's doing no, that, when she that, looks down. And also just for your... The cleanness of that the cleanness. side is that, really that's nice. That's exactly yeah. it. Yeah. That's right. Yep. Look up, look up. Spun island. I think she's still too. Okay. You go through. Hello. Hey, 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 hey. It is about a family, and I like the dynamic that there's problems in their relationship, which I was really liked also because I hate when you see movies and the parents are always real nice to the kids and, and it's like, man, who's like, who's like that all the time? Like, nobody's like that all the time. And action on rehearsal. Set. And action. Water plays a very important role in the film. It's kind of a character in its own right. We aren't designed to be in the water, and there's already a natural, widely experienced fear of the depths of the unknown. And be Mark. That's good. Marker. He's been great at executing what he, I think, has wanted to get on camera, and he's been wonderful to, to be directed by. I've loved being directed by him. I think he's got a great sense of humor. I think he understands the balance of humor and drama in a really nice way. Uh, I think he's, he, he has a vision for it that I've, I've really appreciated that he's stuck to. Um, I've, I've, I've loved it. I've, I've had a wonderful time with Bryce. One shot, I uh, I didn't know that something was behind me, and I turned around, and I, you know, we weren't rolling yet, and I would just, I just screamed. Um, it is scary. There's something about the water where you don't, at any point, you don't really know what's below you, and that can be freaky. Having Wyatt and Carrie to be the two people to help anchor that particular dramatic story point is extremely important because they help us ground the movie in a way where we um, where we 
you know, where we believe in their predicament and ultimately when they have to do what they have to do to fight the evil that comes with the swimming pool. So for me, Night Swim was always about how I felt when I was a kid in a pool by myself and just being absolutely convinced that there was something beneath me in the depths and that it was not nine feet deep, it was 90 feet deep and that Jaws was down there. And that's really where it came from. There is like a, a vulnerability in water, I think, that um, a lot of people have. It, even if you are a confident swimmer, there's a notion that like the water really ha has more control over you no matter how great you are at swimming or how great you're at surfing or whatever. It's like nature and, and that has, um, you know, m it's stronger than you. It's a huge aspect of the story, making that relationship work. And so when we got together and did rehearsal, first few times we, we got together, um, it was like, it, it, it made me feel very comfortable going, oh God, like a big sigh of relief where that relationship works. Me. I'd never met Wyatt before, um, and I was just really glad that he was the kind of person who kind of like, is, like another thing with her is kind of like, you have to sort of go big, and then you can kind of like rein it back a little bit, but if you're not gonna go big, it's just gonna feel really stupid. <laughs> I think audiences are going to love the scares. I think they're gonna love the cast. But most of all, I think they're gonna be really scared to get back into a swimming pool after watching Night Swim. You need to say something back. Ronan, Marco. Why aren't you saying anything?